Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I'll try to repair a Commodore 64 with the help of ChatGPT. I've already tried this Commodore but unfortunately the screen is all blue and this could be caused by various factors such as a malfunctioning PLA, VIC or CPU. But I want to see if I can repair it under the guidance of ChatGPT. For a few months now, you can use the version on the phone where you can respond vocally, so I'll use this latest version. But now, let's ask ChatGPT to help us. Now, I'm going to ask ChatGPT to help me during the repair. Hi, can you help me with the repair of my Commodore 64? When I turn it on, I see the screen completely blue. Can you guide me from removing the screws to the actual repair of the Commodore? Check power and video cables. Make sure they're securely connected. Replace any loose or damaged cables. Yes, I've made sure the cables are well connected, so that's definitely not the problem. Have you previously opened and restored Commodore 64 systems? If not, are you willing to do so now to troubleshoot the issue further? Yes, I already have experience with soldering and repairing Commodores. So, should I open the case and check the situation inside? Absolutely! Checking inside the case for signs of malfunction, such as blown traces or damaged components, is a smart move. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and open the case of the Commodore 64 and look for any sign of malfunctions, disconnections, cold joints or blown traces, anything that could cause the screen problem. So I've checked the board and it doesn't seem to have any obvious problem, no chip seems to have been replaced and I didn't find any blown traces or obvious issues on the back either, so I'll ask ChatGPT to guide me in a more specific repair. I've checked the board, but there don't seem to be any problems, can you guide me in a more specific repair? Since there were no obvious issues inside the case, try removing and then reinserting the PC Peak 2 and RAM modules to ensure they're properly seated. Then, power on the Commodore 64 to see if the blue screen problem persists. However, the RAM isn't socketed, so should I socket them? Since the RAMs aren't socketed, you can't and reseat them. Socketing would involve soldering in sockets for easier future removal and replacement, but it's optional depending on your needs. Okay, so at this point I remove the V2, check for connection or oxidation problems, and then I'll socket the two RAM chips. Checking the area near the RAM, I found this slightly raised piece of trace, and the area covered in flux, and this is the trace that connect the PLA to the RAM. So as a first step, I'll definitely desolder the RAM and insert the sockets, and then I'll ask ChatGPT what to do, but I think that she'll suggest me to check the connection with the multimeter. After taking a closer look at the RAM, they seem to have been replaced or reinserted, which doesn't make any sense because they could have put in sockets making any repair much easier. Also, a trace piece seemed to have blown on a pin, so I removed the RAM and insert sockets to see if there are any issues.
I desoldered the sockets, now I removed them using a screwdriver for helping me and then I'll insert the sockets. I've inserted the sockets, but before putting the RAM back in place, I would like to check the continuity in this part of the circuit, because as said before, this thread is slightly raised, so I would like to ask ChatGPT what to do, but I think that she'll suggest me to check with the multimeter pin 22 of the PLA, which connect to pin 16 of the RAM. I've inserted the sockets, but at this point I've noticed that there is a trace slightly raised from pin 22 of the PLA. What should I do? And if you've noticed a raised piece of trace, it's a good idea to check for continuity using a multimeter. Refer to the schematics to identify the affected circuit and ensure proper connectivity. This will help you pinpoint any potential issues with the trace and address them accordingly. Well, there is no continuity, so I think it's time to check on the back of the board to see what the problem might be. Checking on the back, pin 22 is unsoldered, and a piece of the trace is also blown, as well as pin 13, which connects to the character ROM, so that could also be one of the problems. I've checked on the back of the board and pin 22 and 13 of the PLA are disconnected. What can I do to fix this problem? Since you've identified that pins 22 and 13 of the PLA are disconnected, you can reconnect them using wires to restore continuity. Refer to the schematics to determine the appropriate connections to avoid damaging the board. Following ChatGPT's instructions and the schematics, I reconnect these two pins and then I recheck the continuity with the multimeter. At this point I check the continuity of the reconnected pins, so pin 13, which connects to pin 20 of the character ROM. And at least this problem seems to be solved. Now I reinsert the RAM and test its functionality. I was about to put everything back when I noticed that in this area this diode is broken, so since I have spares I'm going to replace it. I've replaced the diode and checked for other problems on the board, but I didn't find any. So let's see what ChatGPT will suggest me to do next. 
I solved a connection problem between 22 and 13 of the PLA. There is no discontinuity anymore. I've also replaced a diode that I found broken. Now, what can I do next? Is there anything else I should check before trying to power on the Commodore again? Before powering on the Commodore again, it's a good idea to refill any joints on the board to prevent cold joints. This ensures proper electrical connections and can help prevent future issues. Once you've done that, double check all your connections and components to make sure everything is securely in place. Then you can confidently power on the Commodore and see if the issue has been resolved. Okay, so I think I'll follow the first advice and check the solder joints on the back of the board. There are some points where the solder joints are not well made, so I think I'll refill them with some new solder. I've checked the board has ChatGPT advice, but I didn't find anything suspicious. So at this point, hoping that those were the only issues, I'm going to test the Commodore. I've put the motherboard back into the case. Now I'll plug the power cable to see if it works. And yes, it works. So I guess the problems were just the diode that I've replaced and the blown traces. As you have seen, with the right questions, ChatGPT was really able to guide me to the end of the repair. Under certain aspects, if it were my first repair, I would have been slightly in difficulty because in some points it was a bit too vague, but it was really able to solve the problem and guide me to the end of the repair. So let me know if you already tried to do that and if you have any suggestions about it. Don't forget to subscribe and see you on the next video.